Mr. Secretary, when you were the Attorney General in California, your state expanded its ban on 18 to 20-year-olds owning handguns, including rifles and shotguns as well. And I'm, I'm just curious, what do you think, why do you think that 18 to 20-year-olds can't be trusted with a firearm? Congressman, let me uh, try to take you back a little bit when I was Attorney General in California, uh, but, but first by saying for us here at HHS, Gun violence is a health care crisis in this country, and we have to do everything we can. I'm proud that my state has tried to undertake measures that would try to keep uh, individuals from using, especially assault weapons, for purposes that uh, never should be deployed in a civilian society. And so, But we, you, you supported these policy changes. I'm just curious, what, why, what was it about 18 to 20-year-olds that you focused on to take away their gun rights to own rifles or hunting, hunting uh, shotguns and yeah. other firearms. What was it about that age, 18 to 20 year old? Yeah. We, we could go back to the legislative record. I was not the legislator, uh, a voter, uh, a, a legislator who voted for that legislation, but I was the AG who defended but our you didn't state's believe, laws. You didn't believe that an 18 year old should be allowed to own a hunting rifle. Is that, I mean, that, that's what you supported then. You still believe that today? M my job as the Attorney General was to defend the laws that the state of California has So enacted. you do think that an 18-year-old should be allowed to own a hunting rifle? Uh, Congressman, when you were the Attorney General, you have the ob an obligation to support and defend the laws of your state. I happen to believe in many of those laws that help us not only protect Americans from gun violence, but also keep weapons of destruction out of the hands of Americans when it's not necessary. Okay, uh, interesting way to dodge the question. I mean, back then you clearly defended and supported uh, changes in the law to stop 18 to 20 year olds from being able to own a firearm. And I, I just wanna ask this question, why, why do you think that children much, much younger than 18 year, years old, nine, 10, 11 year olds are mature enough uh, to make a decision uh, to have a sex reassignment surgery? And because Congress you support those policies too. So yeah. can you defend that for the committee? Why do you believe that a 9, 10, or 11-year-old should be allowed to change their sex? So let me, let me be clear. My, my position, my views have not changed with regard to uh, gun violence and what we should do to try to control that uh, mass killing that's occurring. Uh, and so whatever my views were when I was Attorney General on those issues I, are, are still probably the views that I have now. Uh, again, I'm not the Attorney General of California anymore. With regard to the health care of any uh, let, let me just be really clear. Then you believe that an 18-year-old shouldn't be allowed, allowed to own a hunting rifle. Today you believe that a 9, 10, or 11-year-old should be able to change their sex and have an irreversible surgery to do that. Just help us explain the, the logic. Yeah, Congressman, I, I would appreciate you if you let me characterize what I believe and we can have a good conversation rather than you, you characterize what I believe. And what I would say to you is, with regard to gun violence, I think it is important that we take actions to protect our, our communities and our neighborhoods. With regard, I don't to the think issue you want to explain it because you realize how crazy it is, and that's why you're, you're no, dodging the, the question. Let me move on. This, no, spring, this spring, HHS released a 112-page report claiming that gender affirmation, including social transition, changing one's name, pronoun, and or appearance, is appropriate and beneficial for gender minority children and adolescents, according to this report. The, the report recommends cutting federal funds from states with, quote, policies that stigmatize transgender children, including by denying them access to medically necessary health care, end quote. Mr. Secretary, is, does this mean that HHS is seriously threatening to withhold hospital grants from states like my own if they refuse to go along with surgeries or or puberty blockers for kids? Congressman, we're gonna protect the rights of any American to get the health care they're entitled to, and if someone tries to stop them from that, that's a violation of the law. So you would withhold hospital grants from states like mine that ban transgender sex reassignment surgeries for minors? I mean, that, that's what the report says, we clearly. Will, we will protect the rights of any individual to receive the health care they're entitled to, and we will take action against anyone who tries to discriminate so against a, a person. So that's a yes. And I want to ask you the same question that I asked Secretary Cardona the other week. Do you support polling federal funds, federal school lunch benefits from schools that refuse to comply with your definition of gender identity? Withholding school lunches from, ki from kids in schools that won't recognize the definitions that you do. 
Congressman, I would not hold anyone to the standard of having to uphold my definitions. I would hold them to a standard that protects what the rights of the it's Americans are It's pretty clear what you believe. The, 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 the report says so. Ma uh, Madam Chair, I hope and pray one day that the history books look back and realize just how crazy the policies of this administration are. And, and Mr. Secretary, your photo with the president is going to be in those history books as, the, as history does not, will not look back fondly on your policies. I yield back. Thank you. Um, Mr. Chicano, you